Good evening, folks. Shades here. And how are you tonight? You know, when, when one door closes, another one opens. It doesn't matter where it's going. What matters is if you choose to go through it. Tonight is a topic that probably hasn't been brought up yet, and that is housing in neighborhoods on other planets. A topic that I think I created, or that at least it's been in my mind a long time, every single day, especially when I'm walking. And it's a good thing aliens have always been amongst us, or are us, and maybe take the form of us, so you don't panic. And probably they're on t-shirts, so when you see them, you don't panic. Could you handle the neighborhood? Imagine life on another planet, just like this a uh, park from a no from the different point of view imagine this what you're seeing right now except neighborhoods and houses and fences could you handle it would you miss earth there's so much beauty out there and maybe and so possibilities of other things that can help us you know they probably look down at us just like the way you look up at them okay there's no need to panic if most of it is them just wanting to help you but the certain suits are making them not want to you know arrive on our planet and it must and maybe it takes them a long time to get here who knows but their technology is much more advanced as us as ours if they wanted to wipe you out, aliens would have did it a long time ago, okay? I think they're just really interested in us, you know? That's why they're, that's why certain people are going on trips in the middle of the night when you're sleeping comfortably. That's what most of the mysterious lights at night are. They're just taking another sample. But don't worry, you know, most of the time they always return you. They're nice like that, you know? You get marks on you, but no one's going to believe most of them, so they try to keep their mouth shut or they stay in their house because people laugh at them. But so much has been, so much content and footage has been released all of a sudden for some reason. Go look it up on YouTube or any place. So what do you think? Like, like neighborhoods on other planets, like imagine like, you know, what you just seen, like, except... It's houses on the moon or Mars. There's already a base on the moon. There must be like a reason for that. Maybe where astronauts rest. I don't know. There's, but I'll tell you one thing. One day, somehow, some way, if I, I will ghost hunt on another planet. And if I can't do that, which I really want to do, I will somehow contact ghosts that are on a planet, like sadly all the astronauts you lost, are probably, their remains are probably still sitting up there. Some of them got flown back to Earth, others not because you couldn't find them. And maybe that's the man on the moon? Maybe that's why other planets are so haunted and the screams? Who knows? And, um, yeah... But, you know, they would have to bring, like, build some sort of device to get food to you on time all the time. And markets, mar food markets would still have to be built. Or maybe that dinner pill that we never seen but was talked about. You know, so it's either they have to build a device or a craft that gets to you, to food to you super fast so you don't starve. Or right now, ahead of time, they should bring food up on the next trip. Now, which one do you think it should be? It's just, I can't get out of my head. Over and over. You know, the, the, the neighborhoods I walk through, man, they're like, they have the creepy vibe to them because they're, they're too beautiful. You know, like shows like Goosebumps, when people are mowing their lawns all at the same time, and they stare at you until you leave, but they always have smiles on their face. They do the same thing at the same time. It's like, you know, and you get the feeling like 
that's the neighborhoods I walk to. I get creepy vibes when they're always doing the same thing at the same time. It's so beautiful, you feel like you're stuck in a simulation. You know what I mean? It's got the vibes of some creepy Goosebumps episode, and some of my neighborhoods around here remind me of Breaking Bad. It really does. And it's just got those vibes when I walk past certain houses, because some people, like, they seem to have too much good stuff, you know? And, I don't know. But, you know, it's just... If you had a neighbor, and they keep coming back with a new car every day, what would you think? Like, what is their job? But, yeah, um... Houses on other planets. Of course, you probably have to wear a hel- Imagine in the morning waking up and you got a view of Mars outside your window instead. You have to put on a helmet to go out and get your paper. You know, your your deck, you're like millions of miles away from what's going on on Earth today to avoid receiving that should Earth be too contaminated with today's problem. You know, and um, if if you can't like if you can't cope with stuff, you know, memories, if you can't cope with it, I say stay on Earth, because if it's abandoned, I don't think it's stealing anymore. If all the stores are empty and people are on another planet, you can have all that to yourself. Think about that tonight. And, um, you know. I used to think the memories were in the places where I walked that are now, like, demolished. Places I grew up are demolished or graffitied. But the memories are not in that spot. You take the memories with you, man. They're in your mind wherever you go. I mean, it's, sometimes it's happy or sad to see your childhood house and someone else sleeping in your bed, especially when you don't have one anymore. But... That's life, man. And you never think it would happen to you, but it does. You know, sometimes, you know, I used to think I'm not from this planet. I'm, I was left here. I'm, and I was adopted, you know, because I totally don't fit in. And really, sometimes, you know, I don't want to fit in because, you know, there's people, the way that people bully you, why would you want to be that species? You know, but not all humans are bad. I mean, not all of us are bad. So, yeah, think about what I said. Neighborhoods on other planets, you know, look up into the sky as the possibility of they're always looking down on you. And how they know so much is probably because some of us them are taking shape as us. And also, like I said, so you don't panic. And for your own good. You know, and I more than anything believe that they want to come down and save you from bad people down here. And take you to a much better place. You know? And, you know, besides heaven. You know, heaven is great. I've had an out-of-body experience. And I've been there. I've already told you that in the heaven episode. And, um... So yeah, I know a lot of you out there, if you're listening to this, you're into aliens, you're into creatures that are on our planet, that have always been here, right under your noses, could be your neighbor, you never know, but yeah, just prepare yourself, make a box or a bag of your favorite things that will be allowed to be bring to your new house on another planet probably no rent because that won't be important anymore rent free house you know electricity probably not needed on another planet because it's more advanced than that so which means no electricity bills who am i to know but i just keep it's it's in my head and it won't go away for some reason like it could be a possibility you know So Shades of the Late Night Audio Show, and as always, I'll see you next time.